What I'm going to talk about today is going to be how being green and being sustainable is not necessarily, can't be the center of that effort. Um, and it's something that I think we've learned um, quite a bit about at Vail Resorts as we've tried to really push forward our own sustainability efforts. And it's also some learnings that I have found uh, in, in watching, investing in other green companies as they start off. So let's start. First of all, thanks. Uh, we really appreciate being able to sponsor Vail Resorts does the, the LOHAS conference. Um, it's just a great group and really targeting, um, you know, I think the, the, if you look back on when LOHAS started and when all the momentum is going, I mean, this is, LOHAS has almost become really just accepted as the mainstream uh, uh, consumer psychology right now. And I think what's interesting is that it's also survived fairly well even through the last 12 months, even with economic challenges. I think a lot of the uh, attributes and the goals of LOHAS have really stood the test of time, which I think is also very good. Um, so the talk, the title of the talk is actually Good to Great to Green. Um, and for those of you who are not aware, Good to Great is a book by Jim Collins, who's a very um, famous uh, and uh, wise uh, a business book author um, who uh, also lives in Boulder, huge climber. Um, and. Uh, you know, I think it's obviously, it's a message that's reverberated, I think, very, very uh, well throughout the business community. Um, at Vail Resorts, I came in as CEO of Vail Resorts in 1996, so I'm going on just about my fourth year. Um, and one of the things when I came in was to try and, like anyone walking into a new situation, is to try and kind of ascertain how you're going to run the company. What are the policies, what are the um, guidelines that you're going to use? Um, and having done some work and reading before I actually got there, um, one of the, the key texts that, that I decided to really use and our whole team and company, quite frankly, has really embraced is the book Good to Great by Jim Collins. Um, and, and the reason really is it's, uh, the book talks a lot about uh, you know, a couple of things that are good on a personal level and also good on a business level. Know who you are and stay disciplined and focused in what you're doing. Um, and what's amazing is how many companies uh, lose that. How many companies spend so much energy and effort doing things without knowing what they are, uh, without knowing what their mission is, uh, and, and without the discipline to make sure that they're not wasting extraneous effort in a lot of different places. Um, the concepts that Jim Collins talks about, which I'll mention briefly today, and then you know, show how they really apply to the, I think, the kind of sustainability in general, um, one is core business, knowing what your core business is. The other is what he calls the genius of and and the tyranny of or, which is kind of the, um, the what happens when you have uh, the false choice, uh, which I think is a huge issue in the environmental movement, in the sustainability movement. Um, he talks about big, hairy, audacious goals. Um, I'm not exactly sure why he chose that term, but it's about setting these lofty terms. He talks about confronting the brutal facts candor, and also talks about taking things one step at a time, one step at a time and really building momentum. Um, and, and we have really tried to employ all of these um, at Vail Resorts, both in terms of how we set our business and in terms of all of our sustainability programs. Um, one of the key things, I think, was, was when we sat down to look at what our business was all about. Um, we had to sit back and say, okay, what is our core? You know, what, what, what is it that makes Vail Resorts the company that it is? What has allowed us to succeed and what will allow us to succeed going forward? Um, the company today, to give you some background, is five ski resorts. It's Vail, Beaver Creek, Brackenridge, and Keystone. All four of those are in Colorado. Um, and Heavenly, which is in California, Nevada, and Tahoe. Um, we also have a, a very significant lodging business, both at our resorts and outside our resorts, and the brand name that, uh, that we go under is Rock Resorts, which comes from the original Lawrence Rockefeller uh, properties that were set up when he set up the park service a long time ago. Uh, we also have a major presence in the national parks through Grand Teton Lodge Company, Jenny Lake Lodge and Jackson Lake Lodge right at the foot of the Grand Tetons. Um, we also have a major retail presence about 160 locations in both Colorado, Utah, um, and California. And in Colorado, the names that you might recognize would be Colorado Ski and Golf, 
Bicycle Village, Boulder Ski Deals, um, and then we have all the retail locations up uh, adjacent to our resorts. Um, we also recently purchased a company called Colorado Mountain Express, which is the largest ski transportation company running vans up and down I-70. Um, and we also have a, a significant uh, real estate development operation. So a lot of people look at this seeming mishmash and say, well, what in God's name does all that have to do with each other? You know, what, what is the center of that? What is the core? Um, and when we sat back and said, okay, what is the core of this business? Um, we actually came to, had some mission statements and values and everything else, but the one word that stood out was outdoors. What our company does is essentially we sell the outdoors. The outdoors is our product. If you look at every single facet of our business, the hotels that we operate, the ski resorts, the retail, transportation, everything is about allowing people to vacation in the outdoors. Um, the other day we were actually having a bit of a strategy session. We were talking, you know, talking about a lot of times people compare our company to Disney because again, they're in the vacation business, they provide experiences. And what we, what we did was we said, you know, Disney is really the king of fake. Um, and I don't say that pejoratively, although it sounds that way. They are about fantasy, they are about making things up, they are about make-believe. Our company, I think the aspiration is to be the king of real. Real experiences, in the outdoors, um, uh, things that we're not making up because they're really coming from Mother Nature. So you sit back and you say, okay, well, if the outdoors is your product, then that really gives our, you know, gives our company both a special obligation and a special opportunity to do something for the environment and for sustainability. 